Hey, yo, guys, it's me. I'm back. I'm back. And since I have just returned from a trip, you know, you know what that means. It means I have to play one of those uh, Super Mario Land games. You know, that's a trend that's been going on here for a while. So you remember that fella Wario? You know, from Mario Land 2. I don't blame you if you don't. Wait, that's not the color palette I want. <laughs> Forgot to change the color palette. But it, I don't blame you if you don't remember Wario. He's a little ob obscure. But somebody at Nintendo looked at him and thought, you know what, that guy? I like that guy. Let's give him his own game. And that's what they did. See what kind of audio balance we're working with. Just a moment. Game could probably stand to be a touch louder, but not too much. No, no, I think it's too loud. We'll go back down. Okay, checking, checking. Well, now it's dead silent. Anyway, Wario bursts in. Uh, his hat fell off. Need a new hat. You know what, this is probably good. I can change it in post. No, wait, 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 I gotta... I gotta separate it. I gotta disable... I gotta disable the layers. Okay, so that's probably good. So... Gonna move my windows. Move all applicable windows to the side. I still think it's nuts that Game Boy Capture is a thing. Yeah, right now I'm running this off of my Game Boy Player. I could use the Super Game Boy, but my, like I told you, my monitor doesn't play right with 8x7 aspect ratio. And you could argue, you know, that Super Nintendo games were meant to be seen at 4x3. But Game Boy games, we have a fixed frame of reference. We, we know what those are supposed to look like because every Game Boy came with the same screen. Anyway, let's get started. So, the plot of this game is, you know, after Mario Land 2, Wario wants his own castle. And so he hears about this statue on this place called Kitchen Island that's worth a lot of money. So he's trying to beat the Lady Pirate Captain Syrup to the statue so that he may claim the riches for himself. You know, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I know I know it's just thing after thing with me, but please, please, please be patient. Okay, okay. Okay, just a little off center. But no, okay, I'm good. I'm good now. We're gonna play Wario Land. So yeah, Wario's a little bit slower than Mario. He doesn't move quite as fast, but he can tackle things, which is, uh... You know, that's something Mario doesn't do very much. 
And you'll notice that like in Mario Land 2, we have a three-digit coin counter. Coins are going to be very important, or at least fairly important. They, they are going to have a non-zero level of importance, I'll say that much. And instead of mushrooms, Wario eats garlic. So I'm now a bull. I've always been full of bull, but now I am a bull. I can do a ground pound. I can break blocks faster. Yeah, see? Yeah, so this is gonna be a lot slower paced than even the other Mario Land games. But that'll be okay. We'll just... We're just gonna vibe. We're gonna listen to the fart music. It'll be great. Yes. I do not want to go down there. I don't know what those are, but I can tell they hurt. Doesn't take a genius. They're like the weird offshoot munchers. So this game does that kind of thing that Nintendo liked to do, where... Where, since it's based on a character from Mario Land 2, it's called Super Mario Land 3. Even though the similarities are beginning to fade. They did it with Yoshi's Island, too, which is even less like its predecessor. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. The only thing it has in common is the HUD. Yeah, basically. That and you can hold up to jump higher, which is still a really weird mechanic. Yeah, I mean... It, it's kind of hard on more limited systems to have a distinct art style, though. I guess. I mean, it's definitely possible. Oh yeah, that's another thing I can do. I can stick to the roof. Oh, what's this? I oh, guess he inserted a coin into that door. This is to show us that we will need to do the same in future levels. Alright, so here we go. This is a big part of this game. You got two doors here. You got coin game and heart game. I'll play heart game first. Because we're probably never going to play it again. I don't know why... I don't know why one of the channels is now so much louder than the other. Like, my left ear really loves this. Oh. Do I missed? Okay, got that one. Three out of three out of four ain't too bad. Okay, four out of five. So I get seventy hearts. Okay. The <laughs> it has gone more mono than expected. This is this is strange. I should probably check that out before I get too far. Hey guys, check it out, I got this thing. Can't stream that. Oh no, I got my GameCube controller plugged up to the Switch and it's like, oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. What, what even is this? What have I done? 
Why have I forsaken the will of God? Yeah, I gotta get all this crud off, off the place where I do have the stuff so I can even see what's going on. Yeah, the right channel has just completely died. It, it has just died at this point. Let's see if I can't fix it. Well, greed is good. Hang on. I hit my head. I'm cycling the everything. See, it could be my HDMI switcher. Hold on. Uh, technical difficulties. Okay, I guess I'll just... No, I need to see. I need to see the levels. Okay, yeah, you gotta, um, you gotta unplug it. You gotta unplug everything. Let me see. Wait, wait, I might have figured it out. Yeah, there it is. It was a loose cable in the OSSC. The audio adapter was loose. That's my, that is my bad. Anyway, now to continue, <laughs> now, now that we've broken up the pace, just ruined the pacing of the stream nice and firmly, now we can continue. Okay, the coin's just gonna get stuck there. That is absolutely okay. So... Hitting the enemies with your tackle produces a coin, whereas I'm pretty sure, yeah, ground pounding them does not. So I'm probably going to want to use the tackle whenever possible. Because like I said, coins are important. We want the coins. Oh, new power up, dragon, dragon hat. So yeah, they decided to give Wario a safari hat in this game for some reason. Though it's ended up being a fan favorite, so I guess it wasn't a huge mistake or anything. Okay, that gives me hearts, but unfortunately I don't care. And I want the, I want money. We've got to have money. I don't know, something about the feng shui of where I was sitting, I had to adjust... I had to adjust my position. Yeah, okay, give me that back. Alright, so this is a checkpoint. So this game kind of proposes... the conundrum of... Do, do I stay greedy... and refuse to use the checkpoint to save my hard-earned cash... or... Do I shell out a few extra coins so that I don't have to do the whole level over? It's it's a very... It's a very large conundrum. Oh, another one. 
So this is like the airplane thing. It is very unrestricted. <laughs> yeah, you can't fly up like some other Mario flight power-ups, but you can keep this going for an absurd amount of time. Like so. Yeah, so this is... <laughs> This is one of those, uh, skip most of the level power-ups. Also, makes Wario walk faster. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> it makes Wario's abysmally slow walk speed into merely excruciatingly slow. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. This is fine. So I think it only applies when he's on the ground. I don't think he's any faster in the air, but I could be wrong. So yeah, he can also pick up and throw things, including enemies. Mostly enemies. That's something Mario doesn't do that often. Though I can't say it's unheard of. I don't know if there's anything up there. I don't know if I want anything that's up there, but I'm gonna check it out. I have, as of yet, found no benefit to being up there. Oh, it's... it's like DD. I forgot what it's... I forgot what that stands for. Not DDD, though. That's a different... that's a different game. All right, so now for the real mini game. We're done with that heart, that heart stuff. That's you're probably not gonna play that ever again. Now it's a gamble. So there's two buckets. We choose one. I have been crushed in the head, which reduces my money considerably. <laughs> if you get hit with the weight you lose half your money. If you get hit with the bag, though, your money is doubled. I still lost half my money, though, but at least it's not as bad as it could be. I mean, five dollars is more than I was expecting, and, you know, is you know, I can buy a hamburger with that. So, we gotta find Shia LaBeouf here. Oh, that doesn't work. I thought maybe if I hit him from the front. Okay, this is Tiny Wario. He gets small, much like Mario. I cannot move down here. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want to let Wario hit the ground, because then you can't move. Not fun. No! I want you to hit him. You must collide. And that, that still does not produce any coins for me. Like, don't these enemies get the memo that this game is about money? About sheer raw greed? So there's a secret down here. Get some coin. This guy throws daggers. He's a regular Dio Brando. This is like some of the silliest music in a video game. It really makes you feel like you are Wario. Okay, that's how you do it. That's how the deed is done. That was a little wonky. I don't know what was up with that. No! 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, 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 okay. my coin... My coin has fallen down the hole. There's no way to retrieve it. It's gone. But there are other goodies down here. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a punishment or not, but nonetheless, I have come down here. Excuse me just a second. Okay. Okay, I don't know what this- I don't know what sort of place this is, but... Oh, oh, no, don't, no, no! Don't poke. Do not poke. I can't go- I can't go up here, can I? No. Alright, so, you're supposed to come back here later to get up here, but you can kind of just do that. It's, it's not actually a hard sequence to break. Alright. Alright. Okay, I'm saying alright, so we're, we're gonna go right. Crap. Well, it can't be the same one twice. Yes! A prophet! Those dividends are paying themselves, baby. Alright, so first secret exit. We can go over here. Course no six. Where there are the, the hidden crabs. Oh no! No, he ran. He saw me coming. So you can get a good few monies. There are monies to be gained here. Also hearts, but I don't care about that. All right, very nice. Oh, yes. You may see the alphabet down there. We'll find out about that later. Don't worry about that. Anyway, we have to get the actual exit now. Let's just, uh, hurry this along. Oh, there's a heart up there. Turns out... There are many secrets in this game. Not typically the in the variety to cause you any sort of mental distress, though.
Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Nope. Nope. Okay, that was some variant of interaction. Okay, we must, of course, gamble this meager profit away. Is there ever a moment that the ceiling cling comes in handy? Uh, I think at least one. And we have turned that small profit into a large one. Franker Face Z emotes still don't work with Restream Chat, and that makes me sad. Anyway, moving on. Course no four. Oh god. Oh god. It's the chase sequence. I thought this happened later in the game than it apparently does. So yeah, we just break we break the bricks. Brown bricks. Well, actually, they're gray. Everything is gray. I'm gray. Gray... and her anatomy. What? I was ducking! I guess the Thwomp did not appreciate my swag dance. Anyway, here's the, the, whatever that guy is. Oh, no. All right, first death. We lose all money. No, well, not all money we've collected in the game, just in this level, which makes sense. You know, you don't get paid for a job half done, unless you're a contractor. Apparently. But as you can see, now that I no longer have the bull helmet, I'm, <laughs> I gotta do two hits to break these. But at least I get this sweet safari hat. I'm going to hide off the boundary of the screen. Okay, going to stay ducked. Okay, no swag. What can I say? Some people just can't handle it. And there are there are few people as sw as swagular as Wario. I'm having a surprising amount of trouble with this. It's easier when you have the ceiling right above you because it kind of cancels the bounce that you do when you tackle something. Okay, now it is time once again. Can Dustin avoid getting hit by a bat? 
The answer is probably no. Pro probably not gonna happen. But you can bop them. Okay, I will forego that power up in favor of living. Okay, I could have ducked down there to get some some sweet coinage, which I will now do over here. Okay, power up of some kind. Okay, now we are once again being chased down the tunnel. The funnel. The thwomp funnel. You coming or what? This isn't a very exciting chase. I can run like this. Okay. Oh no. His brother's here. But, if he crushes an enemy, it gives me Mondo coinage. Unfortunately, that was not enough. There was some kind of like weird graphical artifact for a second. I don't know if you saw it. I mean, it's just random chance. There's no sense in making a big deal out of it. Just, just choose one. Just go with your gut. Okay. I have made a profit nonetheless. Not bad luck so far. Yeah, it's been going. It's been going okay. Course no five. Oh, it's, it's the suspense music. <laughs> oh, okay. Thwomp. And we know what that means. Yeah, some kind of like weird graphical artifact. I don't know. Okay, thank you. I'll take that, why not? Okay, let's let's crush another dude. Let us commit let us commit a homicide for our own monetary gain. I don't trust those two coins up there. Where's the kaboom? That was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Okay, oh, oh, oh. I, I didn't know there was gonna be a second one. No, I don't need no checkpoint. What am I, some kind of baby man? Unfortunately, Tiny Wario cannot do the shoulder tackle, so I must find a power-up before I can engage in Mortal Kombat. Hello, Miles. I'm here during TV ad breaks. I, I understand. This video is so smooth. Well, I'm glad I'm glad it looks good because you know the preview window on OBS is not always a good indicator. It's 
sometimes drop some frames where the video itself is actually not. Goodbye. Every rotten day. Okay, boss. First boss. It's, uh, Turtle Jones. <laughs> you gotta do that to him. Oh, oh, crud. Crud, I should have gotten the checkpoint. No, I shouldn't have. No, no! I should <laughs> I'm still not gonna do it. I've learned nothing. You gotta love the Game Boy sound chip. I mean, honestly, though, I, I really like the way the Game Boy sounds, even even today. But then again, I'm a nerd. Oh, well, okay, that's instant death. Good to know. Y'all ever heard how a Virtual Boy sounds? Like, you ever listen to Virtual Boy music? It sounds like a Game Boy on steroids, dude. I, I love it. Which kind of makes it a, sh a shame that so, so... Kind of makes it a shame that so few games were released for the thing. But what can you do? No, please. Please kill this man. Oh, I've got no one up for that. The thwomp of fate has doomed this man. Okay, so I'm not gonna even bother with those coins. They're not... They're not even, like, half worth it. Okay, maybe a little worth it. <laughs> yeah, so, there, like I said, there's no run button. At least I think I said that. I said something along those lines. But yes, uh, Wario cannot run. He can only do the shoulder dash. So he must rely on other means to go fast. But even then, he's never particularly great at it. Not his strong suit. We are not playing Wario the Hedgehog. That being said, somebody make Wario in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I demand it be so. I've had the stream open for a while now since I had to do something, but here I actually am. Hello. Hello, greetings and salutation. On to you. Okay, now, now I actually have a power-up. Now I can hit him real bad. Yeah, that, that's prob that probably hurts. Money, 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 money. Now, I could gamble this all, and I will. I hope that Virtual Boy Wario Land rumor becomes reality. That would be cool, but I feel like that would have been best on the 3DS. Okay, I have reduced 
I've reduced my money, but it's, it's all about the risk, baby. It's all about that blackjack money. Okay, so Rice Beach is done. Taken care of. So here's Mount Teapot. You see, it's called that because it's a mountain. Either way, it's sad. The series is pretty much dead now. Dude, I know, right? I, I, I love Wario Land. Like, I mean, I can't say this one is my top favorite. I, I still rather like it, but it's, you know, it's, it's not the one I would choose out of a crowd, but... But it gets, it gets pretty good in some of the other games, I think. Like, if, if any of you haven't seen this game before, I know at least one of you that maybe hasn't. I don't know. Virtual Boy Wario Land ends up kind of being this on steroids. I, I'm using that phrase a lot today. But yeah, and I don't know. The last game we saw was on the Wii. Which, I mean, is fairly recent as far as some Nintendo games go, but still. You haven't played 3 yet? I think 3 is pretty good. It's, uh, it's not perfect. But what game is? It has really good music, though. And uh, I think it's an interesting take on the formula. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're, this is happening again. <laughs> Shoutouts to Mario Land 2. Okay, so this lets me tackle underwater as well. So you see what I mean, though? Like, you can keep this going for a pretty long time. Okay, I can't quite make it. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's not quite enough to reach the door. I, I've got to get to the door! Okay, so this is how you're supposed to get up here, though. But you can do this. Skip entire level. But then you don't get any fat stacks. It's only like this because Mario is infamous for having game-breaking flight power-ups. And Wario's like, you, you think that's a game-breaking power-up? I will show you a power-up. Okay, so you can kind of just hold the button to swim. First time I played this, I got the second to worst ending. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Wario Land moment. It is. It's the very definition of one, I would say. Okay. Big money, big prizes. I love it. We don't want to settle for that. We want more.
I played this on the 3DS, so whenever I played that mini game, I would always save state. I mean, I have the full capacity to save state right now, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it legit. It's my code of honor. Okay, that's not gonna work. I wanna keep my flight power up though, I think. Because it's kind of like stupidly good. Okay. I don't like this guy hanging. Oh, this is. That is a nauseating camera movement. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll take the dragon. Whatever. Let's just, let's just keep the flow of power-ups. I wish it would give me coins, though! Because a power-up that does not give money is hardly a power-up at all! Okay. Game says, uh, flight power-up returns. The game has spoken, and I shall listen. Do not want. I feel like there's a way to grind coins with these, but I forget what it is, and therefore will not be making any use of it. I think that's just a checkpoint over there, but let me let me go see. Let me go check it out. Oh, there's a block. Okay. Okay, I've killed the pelican. No, he's okay. He's fine. I'm not a murderer. Yet. Oh, that's good. That's some good breaking. Mind your business. Was there something up here? No. Or at least I've done a very bad job of getting to- Oh god, not this. Not the water current. Listen, I don't usually talk about current events, but... I feel like I've been forced into it here. Okay, keep moving. Oh, this feller again. Good old Dio Brando. I have no idea what kind of interaction I have just caused. Okay, there's an arrow here. And you know what that means. It means that there is an arrow here. And there's our secret.
outcome is less than desirable. We'll go there later. Let's, let's continue to the main mission first. Okay, again, let, we, we played this level. Let's just speed it along. Speed run. Speed run time. No! I have been violated. But that's okay, because he has been dilated. Which uh, was meant to be a pun on that word and the word die, but then that's kind of just something you do to your eyes. Okay, the bad, the bad pun zone. I am fighting the current, and it probably does not want me to be, but nonetheless, it is what is happening. This game's surprisingly strict about where you can hit enemies. Oh well. We can still pay the money so we can get out of here. If you beat the level though, Wario grows back too large. Which is good. I appreciate that. Okay, we have cracked 1,000. Alright, remember to hit, smash that like button. Can we get to 1,000 coins? Oh yes, the best music in the game. Um, Mr. Tanaka, could you please, uh, compose more than five seconds of music? Nope. Okay, Mr. Tanaka, thank you. I wasn't expecting this much chill music in a Wario game. Dude, you have no idea. I was just talking to... To a friend about uh about how Wario Land 3 has some of the most adorable music I've ever heard in a Game Boy game, and it's about this loathsome brute. Okay, checkpoint. Most of the time we won't we won't need it, I'm gonna be real. There are some times where I should probably take it, but then that means less money. And you know how I feel about that.
I meant to murder that man, but I guess uh, mild inconvenience will have to do. Yeah, because you have to have him stunned before you can kill him. So if you just tackle him straight off, it won't work. I could probably get this man in the ceiling if I really wanted to. I mean, the floor will do. Come on. Come on. Come on, enter the ceiling. <laughs> Was there something up here? I feel like there's something up here. No, I think I, I might be thinking of somewhere else. Actually, it might be right here. Yeah, there we go. L little secret area. Giant freaking coin. Ooh. So this is a first. First time we've seen this in the game. Wonder what that could be for. Oh, ho, it's a key. I've seen a keyhole around here. Just throw it in. Like Michael Jackson with the quarter. Are you going for the best ending? I mean, I'm gonna try, but technically the best ending may require some off-screen grinding. Anyway, this. Yeah, so finally you learn what the alphabet is about. Finally I learned my ABCs, and I hope that you will sing with me. So yes, it was a treasure. Each letter is a different treasure, and if we want the best ending, we must collect as many of them as possible. Preferably all of them. But as I was alluding to before, there's actually like a secret ending you can get if you max out the coin counter, which I may not be able to do over the course of the playthrough. But we'll have to see. Ah, net. Ah, net. Okay, come on. I've wasted the giant coin! Oh well, 81's still pretty good. Dust Man Greed. Well, I'm, I'm, pl I'm playing as Wario. I think it's appropriate that I be greedy. Because, I mean, listen, listen, because the truth is... You're getting very greedy. You are me, Wario. You're very handsome. You have amazing powers. Plundering village pirates' treasure. Bag of a zillion coins. Buy me a castle bigger than Mario's. Repeat after me. I'm the bad guy in Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, where being bad is good and greed is good. <laughs> Come and get it on Game Boy, greedy. So I hope that cleared everything up. Oh god, I'm gonna use this music again. There's something magical about those uh, early Wario commercials. They don't make them like that anymore. And I mean, somebody could say like, okay, okay, boomer, you know, that kind of thing. Like, son, I don't think I was even alive when that commercial aired. <laughs> Yeah, 
my my actual existence had not yet occurred. Though I, I don't know for sure. When was this game released? I don't know, man. Like, the exact chronology of these games kind of escapes me. It's like, I know, okay, you know, this was Wario Land, you know, it, it was a video game. It came out somewhere in the 90s, but it's like, beyond that, I got nothing. Ooh, the stars. I apologize for any electrical noise in the picture here that you will now be unable to unsee. Can I get that from here? Hopefully I can, uh... Hopefully I can upgrade some of my equipment in the near future. Hopefully eliminate most of this. Get some better component cables. I mean, I'm currently using an HD Retrovision cable for the GameCube. And no, don't get excited. It's not like a GameCube specific cable. It's like the Wii cable. But I have an adapter that makes it work. And it's probably way more expensive than I would- Oh! Speaking of expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. Wario Land 2, 3, and 4 were all released a year apart from each other. Yeah, it's crazy how they used to do that. Like, like nowadays it's been, like, upwards of... Well, I, I forget exactly, but it's been, like, what, at least three years since Breath of the Wild came out? I'm telling you, time, me and Time barely know each other. We don't, we don't know what the other one's doing. But, yeah, and we're still, you know, we're waiting on... We're waiting on Breath of the Wild, too. And then here Nintendo was back in the 90s just spitting out Wario games like nobody's business. Like I also said to a friend recently, it's, it's easy to forget now that the series is like borderline dead. But there was a point where Nintendo was obsessed with this dude. Like, Nintendo just could not get enough Wario. They were pushing Wario everywhere. And yes, I will confess, uh, uh, Wario is not actually obscure. I was... I was making that up, I'm sorry. Though, you know, Metroid has always been Nintendo's red-headed stepchild after the Super Nintendo. It just- it just got worse over the years. Okay, don't go down there. That's my- that's my tip. It's my gameplay tip. It's just don't go down there. Like, at, at all, just don't bother. Yeah, I can see a little bit of pulsating electricity going through the picture there. Pardon me again. You know, it's, it's subtle, but it is there. It's because Wario is living in a simulation. I mean, technically, nothing of what I have just said is false. There's at least been a rumor of a new Metroid coming to Switch in the near future. Oh yeah, didn't they call it, like, Metroid Prime 4? It sure would be nice if they would confirm those rumors. Oh no. I can't break. 
And, I mean, personally, I, I joke, but I, I want them to take their time with that. Both for quality reasons, and because I would like to stream the first three before it comes out. <laughs> Because then, then I can stream Metroid Prime 4 Blind Reactions. <laughs> yeah, what's up with Pikmin 4 anyway? Miyamoto's just like, oh yeah, Pikmin 4? Yeah, that's coming out in like, a week. Yeah. And then, and then here we are like, like half a decade later or something, and it's nowhere to be seen. They, they lost it. It was on a flash drive and they lost it, and they're just hoping everyone will forget. <clears throat> okay, got it, got it. Come on. Oh well, at least it's eight. Okay, luck has diminished. Luck is gone. Okay, what's going on here? We got the ominous music playing. You know, I would I would really like if somebody made a uh, a colorized hack of this game. I think I spit a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh no, no. Uh, the Super Mario Land 2 guy went on to do like for Frog the Bell Tolls, which I mean is prison. It's neat, you know. I mean, I I, I still prefer Wario though. I, I've never played that game. Uh, I don't know what it's about. It's about a frog that the bell tolls for. But that guy is in Smash. Hmm, Sakurai? I just, I just want a me costume, that's all I'm saying. Give me a me costume and uh, I'll shut up. I mean, Wario Land is barely in Smash either for some reason. A topic I have covered on numerous occasions. And by covered, I mean, uh, whined about. This music is why Nintendo started associating Wario with farting. Oh, it's a key. We know what that means. Oh, that was actually kind of sick. <laughs> in the Forbidden Shell City! C is for crown. Yeah, that one works. Uh, we'll, get, we'll give him that one. Come on, I barely earned any money. Uh, I will always prefer this series over WarioWare. Not to say WarioWare is bad, though. Yeah, I mean, I guess in my eyes it's kind of apples to oranges. Like, the only thing the two really have in common is that they use the same character. They, they both, for me, scratch a very different itch, and I wish they could coexist. 
but Nintendo kind of seems to be wanting to pre wanting to prefer to focus on where for the time being. Also, the Starman is in this game. I don't know if you knew that. Ah, uh, finally. Listen, I know I haven't been providing much abridged content lately. This is the best I can do. But with how much more love WarioWare gets than Wario Land, I feel it needs to be said. No, I understand complete. I understand the sentiment completely. I am going to poop. I am going to eat garlic and then poop. Okay. Okay. So now I'll only eat the garlic. Okay, fine. I won't do either. You have you have swayed me. So that's how you win. <laughs> you just threaten the game. <laughs> No, wait, I, I messed it up. Tell that guy that you're going to throw him in a ditch if you don't get your ice cream back. That's not the line. Okay. So, the <laughs> I don't even know what that interaction is. It's like the flower thing in Yoshi's Island, except it makes even less sense. Okay, this is uh, this is not a good position. Oh no! No, I needed that. I was using that. Okay, can I go back and get the bird again? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. Like, it eats the enemy through its head. And then it poops out money. Nintendo, what the ever-loving Christ. Some good money, though. Oh, the bird, the bird comes back. So, theoretically, I could do this. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And that's good for like 30 coins a pop. Welcome to the next hour of the stream. No, there's not enough enemies in there. Also, here's Wario's Boo equivalent, I suppose. Not quite as invincible. Oh, here you go. Here you go, Langton. <laughs> there you go, there's your... There's your use for it. Into the pit! Die. Maybe like the only time you use that ability. I never said it was super useful, but there is a use. The way the enemies just snag on the semi-solid platform. Okay, the lid's coming off. 
And now it's going back down. What are the effects of this? We will not find out yet. Yeah, 764 seems like a good amount. I think I can... You know, I think I can get through the weekend on that. Two thousand. We have broken two thousand. All right, so we revisit this old level, and everything's wrecked. There's debris everywhere. Pardon me. And no, I don't mean uh, Ray Romano's wife. I don't know what this bomb thing is, but I don't like it. It's like that thing from Nat Attack. I am surprised that that did not kill me, but I'm okay with it. It was 2017, the year the Switch came out. Which of course means Wario Land for Switch. Everybody knows that my... <laughs> My latent psychic abilities have never been wrong. Can't even go down there anymore. Robotnik can still be in Smash. Yeah, but it wasn't like, you know, when I said it was gonna be, so... It's not... funny anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't- I did not want that. Um, can I have my coin back, please? Thank you. It's actually ten coin- uh, I don't know what that guy was doing in there. I can't tell if reusing the same level with minor alterations is creative or lazy. Maybe both. But Nintendo on the Game Boy was getting wacky. They were doing wacky things. They said all the DLC will be out by the end of 2021, so they still have four more characters to release. So theoretically, we're getting a new character every three months. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they, if they go back on that. <laughs> Where's the door? <laughs> I'm I'm lost. Where am I going? Cause like down here down here's a dead end, right? No bandana waddle D please. Yeah, personally, I, I'm fine with a, another Kirby character. But I don't know, just to me bandana waddle D feels like the most boring one possible. Here we are. Oh. oh. Okay. There's some sort of shenanigans. We will shenan again. I 
I'd like to see Sh Shantae and Smash, though. Well, son, that's where you and I are gonna differ. Oh. Bull. Tortoise. <laughs> that was it? That's the whole boss? I just say that because I have a uh, I have mixed feelings about way forwards games and characters, but I won't get into that here. That's a whole discussion. <laughs> and thus, the luck has been rebalanced, perfectly balanced as all things should be. I still maintain that uh, I would like to see either Dark Matter or Adeline as the fourth Kirby character. Mostly because I think there could stand to be some more uh, Kirby 3 and 64 stuff. Most of the Kirby stuff in Smash has been from games Sakurai has developed, which I I'm not saying anything. But it's a little sus. Next mainline Kirby game. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what that'll be like, but uh, it'll it'll probably be like <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It'll probably be like Star Allies, I think. I don't know if Kirby's really in a huge desire, really possessing a huge desire to innovate. They said it would be the pinnacle of the series. Well, them's big words. Let's see if I can back them up. Dark Matter can't be playable because he doesn't have arms and legs. Son, Bowser Jr. rides in a bucket. <laughs> I, I have given up on trying to... <laughs> trying to find any logical setbacks for the characters. Or logical blockades is a better word to use. Like, I thought, okay, I thought, okay, there's not gonna be any Microsoft characters. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would Dark Matter grab with? I mean, I feel like he's, he's just a, you know, he's like a thing of dark energy. He can just manifest whatever he wants. Like, he can summon a hand whenever he needs it. <laughs> that being said, I would probably prefer Adeline. I know it's not gonna happen, but I think that would be pretty neat. You could, uh, you could do what Star Allies did and throw Ribbon in there with her. I think that would be neat. Just think it's neat. Susie would be cooler. Now I don't know if I would say that. You're free to your opinion. I do think people are overreacting about the modern representation because we get quite a bit of modern stuff in my opinion. Well, I don't really know. I know there's at least some. There's at least some stuff. I swear, every stream of mine ends up turning into a Smash Brothers dis discussion, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess, to be truthful, the, the Kirby representation... Every representation never struck me as lacking. Like, when I think of series that need better reputation, I think of uh, Wario Land, as, I, as I've talked about. 
Wario Land only has one song in the entire game, and it's not even a remix. You know, that would be good. Uh, Star Tropics, of course. <laughs> the one I never shut up about. Mm, pardon me. Uh, probably Sonic the Hedgehog. Though mostly in the music department and the stage department. Like, I mean, okay. Sonic's first stage is going to be... Is going to be Green Hill Zone. There was no escaping that. Speaking of, here's a hedgehog right now. Um, <laughs> Sonic's stage was going to be Green Hill Zone. There's no getting past that. But, but did his second stage have to be Green Hill Zone? <laughs> It's like how Donkey Kong only gets jungles when there is such a wealth of, of locations in Donkey Kong games. Like, dude, put in... Like, I had this idea in the shower the other day. Or it might have been in bed, I don't know. Um, like, the big city from Donkey Kong 94 and it, it has, like, elements of the city from land in it. And, you know, put some uh, Donkey Kong 94 and Donkey Kong land music in it. Dude, that would be sick! That'd be sick! Dude, Donkey Kong land needs to have a song in this game. Like, all of the exclusive tracks for that game are absolute bangers. Like, if you have not heard them, like, I will stream that game eventually. Not anytime soon, because I have not even... I have not streamed a single Donkey Kong game. <laughs> but... But if you have not heard that game's soundtrack before, go listen to it. I mean, Donkey Kong Land 2 and 3 are kind of just Game Boy transcriptions of the SNES music, but... Donkey Kong Land 1 brought some new and interesting stuff to the table, and it's really, uh... It's really good, I think, even if it's a bit janky. And the, th the 3D pre-rendered graphics do not work that well on a monochrome handheld. They were really trying to give you portable Donkey Kong Country, what can I say? So we could go in that door, or we could not do that, and instead go over here. I remember more about this game than I thought I was going to. What if Donkey Kong Land had the Wario Land art style? I mean, personally, I would be fine with that, but we gotta come to the realization that Nintendo was pushing this game's graphics big time. It never would have happened. Like, the whole... The, like, okay. I think most people in the modern day can look at Donkey Kong Country and say, yeah, it's a good game. But, you know, we'd, we'd be lying if we were saying that, oh, it's a good platformer, was how they were selling this game. They were selling it on the graphics. The game had pre-rendered 3D, and Nintendo was expecting you to get excited about that. And, uh, people did. People thought that that game looked like the bee's knees. It was, uh, I, I don't think I want to go there. I thought there maybe would be a treasure. Also, my hearts are very nice. I thought I would let you know. So yeah, I feel like Donkey Kong Land, if it had this sort of art style, would be a lot more playable in the modern day. Or just in general, but especially now. But it wouldn't... There wouldn't have been an appeal in the 90s, I don't think. Like, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but... They ported it... They ported Donkey Kong Country to the Game Boy Color. Like, not land. Not like Donkey Kong Land. They straight up ported Country. And it wasn't very good, but they they were really like that's another series that they were obsessed with. 
I have ruined my life. Nintendo could not get enough of Donkey Kong Country and the Game Boy Advance. Though that being said, I think it actually does work on the Game Boy Advance. Like the music, the music in the first two ports sounds god awful, <laughs> but but as far as being a functional game goes, it, it does that. It is indeed a fairly faithful reproduction of the SNES trilogy. Also, Tiny Wario has a mohawk. I just thought that was interesting. Also, poor this guy. Poor DD. I should probably mention that this world is entirely optional. Whatever, I'm gonna go for 100%. Screw it. Please, please kill this man. Jeez, there's a ton of guys frozen in the, the ice. What happened here? Speaking of that, sometimes I prefer to play Superstar over Superstar Ultra because the music in the latter just isn't as punchy. Mm. I personally think it's fine, but I understand where you're coming from. And uh, when we get to that point where I eventually stream that, well, we'll have to have a discussion on which version to play. Or I could just download a save or something, but that feels that feels a little iffy. I also wait for the day Dustman streams Sticker Star. Yeah, that's that'll probably be a controversial stream. That'll probably be 2024 20, at this rate. You're, you're not wrong. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, I gotta finish Mario RPG, and then I have three other Paper Marios that I have to do before that. And that's assuming that I don't break it up with Mario and Luigi, which I probably will after a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I should I start streaming more? <laughs> should I just do like two a day? I can't do that, but... <laughs> There's only so much. I think you'd like Origami King at least if you get to it by 2027. I, I've talked about it on here. I haven't played Origami King, but I've watched a substantial portion of it. And I think it's all right, at least compared to its two predecessors. But I would still say it, it doesn't impress me. I'll be, I'll be real with you. I don't, like, I don't legitimately want to dunk on people who like it. Like, I've, I've kind of come off a bit too overzealous when I joke about it. Yes, it's called Sherbert Lamp. I noticed that the other day when I was trying to, uh, relabel some of my soundtracks. And yes, it's, uh, it's called Sherbert Land. Co coincidence? Probably. Probably no actual relation. So this cloud... If I can get lightning to strike the hedgehog, then it will give me money. If I can get it to strike the hedgehog. Ah! <laughs> Do all the streams five a day.
It's just that Kinsuke Tanabe is against any fan feedback because he wants to create new experiences. Modern Paper Mario is a complicated thing. And, I mean, honestly, like I said, I'm not impressed by any of the post-Super games. But, I mean, I think there's a mixture of things going on. Like, I mean, yes, I feel like, okay, that hurts. I feel like Tanabe is probably a little tone deaf, but I, I feel like it's a little naive to assume that, at least at this point, I, I think I thought it at one point, but I think it's a little naive to assume that he's the diabolical mastermind behind all of it. I, I feel like there's something fishy going on over with Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. It's funny because once Mario & Luigi Paper Jam came out, it suffered from a lot of the same issues that I had seen in Paper Mario. Like, Mario & Luigi Dream Team, for all of its faults, still had a lot of the Mario & Luigi spirit. It had a lot of the, uh, you know, the character and the characters of the game. Now, gameplay-wise, it had some faults, but... Miyamoto's 68th birthday was two days ago. Well, happy birthday, Miyamoto. Though, that being said, call me next year. <laughs> then we'll have a party. Okay, so I'm not sure where I'm taking this key. I'll be real with you. Oh, I didn't want to go in the door yet. But yeah, Mario RPGs are in a weird place right now, and I can't help but wonder what the future will bring. And we will probably not know the answer to that question for a couple more years. Okay, we're going over here with it. Mario sports games are also kind of in a weird spot. Admittedly, I don't know much about that because I, I never played too many of them. Like... I just have never been into sports games, and putting the funny hoo-hoo man <laughs> in them only does so much. That being said, I, I did enjoy Mario Golf Toadstool Tour on the GameCube. I remember enjoying that one. I will defend Mario Strikers Charge to my grave. I've, I've heard that the Strikers games are pretty good. Though, with Nintendo's tighter grasp on the franchise lately, I don't know if we'll ever see anything like it. Because it was, if I recall right, kind of weirdly violent for a Mario game. Like you could, like you could uh, throw Daisy into an electric fence. <laughs> oh no. Pardon me. Uh that just reminded me of Punch Out Wii. Uh dude, I love Punch Out and I I really wish we could get another one. Oh yeah, same developers, that's right. And they they made uh the modern Luigi's Mansion games, which I will say are a fantastic subversion of what I'm talking about with Mario, at least as of the third game. I'm glad, I'm glad Luigi's Mansion is, is kind of holding on. Cause, cause that was an issue I had with Dark Moon is the, the sterilization of the Mario series. But I'm glad to see that three has reversed that a bit. 
Oh, I think there's gonna be a boss in here or something. This is the boss music. I mean, I would really like another Punch-Out, because... Okay, as much as I love Punch-Out Wii, I will say that it, it kind of takes a little bit too much from its predecessors. Like, I would like to see a fourth one with new boxers in it. Like, the only new boxer in Punch-Out Wii was Disco Kid, and even that's debatable. And, uh, well, one, one other <laughs> character that's a bit of a spoiler. I don't think I've ever actually unlocked that character to fight. One day I probably should. Punch Out Wii is actually, like, freaking hard, dude. <laughs> like... And, and I'm, I'm all for it. I don't think an easy punch-out would have been quite the same. <laughs> I, I enjoyed playing ARMS for a while. But I, I'll admit, it's a little paltry for a modern game. Like, the, it was like uh, Smash 64 levels of content. And I mean, the updates helped that out a little bit. But, I mean, I would still like more things to do in it. I heard if you don't make it to that secret character that's permanently locked in the save file. I mean, maybe. I know, uh, Max Last Stand is, like, permadeath, so to speak, except it's... I mean, Mac doesn't die, of course, but... But, like, you only get one chance to beat that. Which is kind of crazy for... For a modern-ish Nintendo game. When you really think about it, like... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, Snowman Johnny here. Kinda dumb. A little bit. So, this is an optional boss. You don't actually have to fight this guy. You can just walk through the door. Um, I hope I don't have to, like, uh... I hope I don't have to, like dash into him. Uh, I think I do. So, um, this is a problem. Probably why it's optional. Yeah, but this whole world's optional. Okay, I, I guess I'm playing this again. I'll probably take the checkpoint for the first time in my miserable life. Yeah, so I discovered that, uh, Carmilla, or Camilla, or whatever the freaking name is, I don't know. Uh, that boss is not skippable, because you need the item she drops, but death, death is 100% skippable, which is kind of hilarious, considering he's like Dracula's right-hand man. <laughs> it's just, no. It's, it's kind of hilarious, just... Just, ah, Belmont, you have come back to fight me. Uh, no. Wait, get back here. Belmont, we have an agreement. You know, death being one of Dracula's minions always, uh, always kind of perplexed me. 
Because, like... Okay, if you have the Reaper on your team, couldn't you just, like, refuse to, uh, you know, reap Dracula? Like, like, Simon comes in and whips Dracula half to death, and then you just walk in and you're like, No. No, Dracula's still alive, actually. I feel- I feel like that's pretty overpowered. Okay, I'm gonna take it this time. Just to be safe. So hey, have you guys seen that comic, that German, like, Nintendo comic, where Wario, uh, summons the devil? You guys have seen that, right? Like, like, you are all familiar with that, I don't need to elaborate further. Okay, let's try again. He just jumped right into me. And I don't keep my coins, so what's even the point? I don't know. I'll probably have to grind to max out the coin counter either way. And, uh, the treasures... The treasures are probably gonna cover me for any other ending. That's the thing. So if I plan to get all treasures, and I do, then the coins are really just good for the super secret Ultraman ending. I don't know what I was doing. I have no idea what I was thinking with that. At least the at least the bad innings aren't odd world bad. Well, I can't say I'm familiar with that one. At least the bad endings aren't uh, clock tower ghost head bad. Where if you don't pick up an item in the first quarter of the game, then your save file is ruined. Because because a statue falls on you and you die. And there's no way to get it to not do that except to pick up the item. Oh. Why do I do this? Does he track you? That's that's the main fear of mine. Like does he track you? That's what I don't know. Now repeat after me. You are Wario. You're very handsome. You know, it's funny that Wario has had, like, two villainous roles, and then he became Mr. Anti-Hero. Oh, I feel like he might track you. Oh, what, this is for hearts? Oh, well, then I, I wish I didn't care. I should not have cared. But hey, at least I have 30 lives. 
I mean, we might as well try to double this. This is a paltry amount of coins. This is, like, pathetic. Yeah, I mean, if I was Simon Belmont, as previously mentioned, I would probably care a lot more about these hearts than I do. Because then at least that gives me more opportunities to throw Jesus at people. Don't go down. But we're not done here yet. There, there are still levels. Underneath the water. I'll probably finish this world and then call it quits. I think that would be a good stopping point. Oh, I probably didn't want to actually do that. Luckily, I can commit murder with this key. This key as it is as violent as it is ancient. Is it over here? Is it over here? Yes. So since this level uh, provides progress on absolutely nothing, it's pretty much just for treasure. So if you're not going for treasure, then you can pretty much just ignore this world. But I am, so we can't. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm doing it! My dreams are true. Oh, here's a spicy secret. If you think that is bad, you should see the later Wario Land games. They get insane. Alright, fuck it. Oh wait, I just realized something. Uh, Mario and Wario, the game where you control a fairy with the mouse. There's a- Mario wears a bucket with a M on it. Or a W, because that's- they're the same letter, flipped. Maybe this is where that came from. I think that might be based on this. Okay, let's get the normal exit, which might just connect us to the other level over there, but I still want to... I, I want to be thorough. Ye smell my bottom. And perish. I know it'll probably never happen, but I'd like to see that game and Yoshi Safari on SNES Online. I'm not sure how that would work. Like, okay, Yoshi Safari I could see, like, replicating with gyro controls. But I don't know. I don't know if Mouse would be quite as good. Granted, I said that about Mario Sunshine. I said, Oh, gee whiz, the it, it, Mario Sunshine wouldn't be as good with analog triggers. Without analog triggers. You know, I missed a word there. And then Nintendo just went and did it anyway. I mean, they patched it in, if you use the adapter, but... Yeah, like Mario Galaxy's pointer. Point is, I don't know what these people are gonna do anymore. I don't know. I don't run a Japanese game company. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, speaking of, uh, I talked about this in the Discord, I think, but, uh, I was talking about streaming Mario Galaxy, like, really soon, but I'm probably gonna hold it off until I... until I beat Mario RPG, at least. But I also have some plans for December that hopefully happen. They might not pan out, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But for that reason, I am not going to say what they are. Mario vs. DK. Yeah, Ma Mario and Wario remind you of War Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Yeah, it does kind of have that Lemmings aspect to it. Though, that being said, Mario vs. Donkey Kong started out as something very different. I'm gonna take the money and run this time. Like, the first Mario vs. Donkey Kong was more of a spiritual successor to Donkey Kong 94. And, I mean, personally, I like that a little bit better, so I'm not a huge fan of the direction the series took. Yeah, I thought that that's what would happen, but I wanted to be sure. I kind of preferred the old style. Okay, so the door is right here, but we must find the key. We have found the answer, but now we must find the question. I mean, hey man, I, I remember having fun with the Lemmings games, and I, I don't want to diss you if you like them, or anything. It's just, you know, personally my cup of tea is more the original. Never beaten it, though. I have beaten Donkey Kong 94. But I have- I wish I still had my bull- bull helmet. There's like a pixel of shading that changes on Wario's chin. Like, hang- hang on. Like, there's- INCONSISTENT PIXELS! There's two pixels that change on his face. Game is unplayable. Nintendo, I'm, I I saw what you did with the Mario World logo. You're on thin ice. You're you're lucky. You're lucky that video game textures are so high res these days. Otherwise, like there there's probably a stray pixel in the Mario Odyssey logo. Okay, I did not find the key. That is what I want. So I'm going back. Probably in here. And thus, I am probably up the creek. Did you know that Nintendo accidentally used an edited image for a spirit and smash taken from DeviantArt? I did! Wasn't it a uh, Boney or Duster from Mother 3? I think it was bony. Bony. Oh no! Wait, the keys. The keys gonna be in here, right? No. And I mean that just proves. If nothing else, that Nintendo does just get a PNG file off the internet, <laughs> and they could easily grab the sprite from Star Tropics.
Br bruh. <laughs> oh, there's the key. Do you think they'd be able to name every piranha plant without the Mario wiki? No way. Shoutouts, though, to Mega Smilax being in the Palutena's guidance. Are you enjoying your Game & Watch? Yeah, it's neat. It's neat enough for what it is. It's, a, it's a, just a little, you know, neat little collector doohickey. I can appreciate it. The genie's lamp. F for f f genie. I went the PS5 route, so I can at least now play Splunk 2 and Crash 4. Yeah, I'm still waiting on that, that second one. I, I think Sony paid them the timed exclusivity money or something. But then again, I guess Microsoft is there. I don't know, just give me my PC port. Give it to me. I, I don't want to buy a PS5 to play Crash 4, I'm sorry. I, I spent... I spent too much money on this PC. I could emulate your console. <laughs> but, uh, bug snacks. Uh, I haven't been too interested in bug snacks, but I haven't really also paid attention. I don't know, it just didn't grab me. It didn't grab me by the ghoulies. Yes, 3,000. We have broken 3,000. All right, so that's it for Sherbert Land. I, I think it's auto-saved. Let me make sure. I'm glad both Spelunky 2 and Crash 4 got nominations for the Game Awards. Yeah, that's good. Though I haven't paid much attention to the Game Awards either. I just saw that there was like a streamer YouTuber category and... None of the nominations are anyone I've ever heard of. Animal Crossing is nominated for Game of the Year. Well, I mean, in fairness, I'll be real, it's not a good year for video games. <laughs> it's not a good year for anything, but especially not video games. <laughs> so, there's not, the, you know, slim pickings. Honestly, I, I I would probably say Doom Eternal, and I never even played it. It'll probably be The Last of Us, though. You know, but that that kind of game's never really appealed to me. But I know it has its fans. There's some there's some controversy around it, but I won't. Uh, you know, it's a little political in nature, so I'm not gonna not gonna get into that. <laughs> At least not here. So, let's just let Wario, let's let Wario show us out. <laughs>